welcome back to the last part of the Azure Functional Sessions. Hi, Adi, again. Hey. I see you brought some new devices. Yes. So this what's time, about? Uh, I brought, I brought uh, Raspberry Pi, which is a little bit more powerful and it's running Linux. Okay. Uh, so what, uh, what I'm going to show you next is how you integrate uh, Azure IoT Hub SDK on, uh, on a Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. It's still the same Node SDK that we've, uh, Seen uh, we've in used the previous before, okay. exactly, but this time it's a, a Node uh, device SDK, right? So it's running Node on the device itself. The Arduino was uh, C++. Okay, okay. so um, what I want to show you here is, just refresh this really quick, how you could now trigger on uh, a blob and a queue. Mm -hmm. So there's a function, and the function will trigger on a queue message and on a, on a new blob. And then it's going to talk to IoT Hub saying, hey, I have uh, notified this device because okay. something new appeared in that queue or blob. And then the device itself will, will take care of the rest. For example, downloading the, the blob from storage with a SAS key mm -hmm. so that only the device so itself. A different method to send the messages. Exactly, exactly. Right. A, a different uh, method to send devices. Rather than sending an HTTP uh, webhook, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you just place a message. In a queue, for example, here, I'm going to go to this. Uh, let me just quickly open the, the logging so we can see logging both in the Azure function and on the device itself on the, on the little screen. Okay. And I'm going to go here uh, on IoT Hub, but okay, let's go okay. here and go node queue. Just like before, the only difference here is that we're triggering on uh, this queue message content. Mm -hmm. Right, and and then we are saying here, send to that target device that message. Okay, oh. and let's bring up the console here. Let's place a new message. Of course, you can use the APIs to send to send a message. You can use the storage SDK. You okay. don't have to use the portal. Hey device, this is cloud calling. Okay, okay. and we can put an uh, expiration. Cheers. And which time you want to expire. Yeah, exactly. Because maybe it doesn't make sense after a day or seven <laughs> hours. So let's hit OK here. And let's also place a message in an uh, item in blob storage here. OK. And let's select this file, which is the Azure Functional Logo. OK. And you see you can use any type of file. Any type of file because the device will, will then. Uh, be, be notified with the message and it will decide if it has, it can do anything meaningful with that file or not. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. So we've triggered on that queue message and we have, we have the message uh, showing up here in the Azure portal, so in the function log and also on the device itself printed uh, in, the, in the console. On the actual device, we do have the node SDK for um, the mm -hmm. device SDK in which we're using the MQTT protocol, which is a very lightweight IoT-oriented protocol. Mm -hmm. We're connecting to IoT Hub here, and then we are triggering on the message right on line 23 there. Once we have the message, we will print it in the console, or if it contains some secret strings, okay. then we can, uh, we can uh, maybe do something else with it. Um, before we go, I just wanted to go into the... Uh, into GitHub and show you that there is an um, SDK for IoT. So uh, IoT Hub has an SDK uh, for for Node.js and and C Sharp. Okay. Uh, there's there's stuff for for Python also. Uh, uh, this one is is is, is the Node one. Um, why I'm mentioning this is because you have a really nice table with all the protocols and all the features that are supported. So you can you can take a look at this and see if it matches your, your scenario. And you can just download them and start Absolutely, using them you can, you can just clone the okay. repository here. Uh, there's samples for both devices and, and the service. Uh, service. Okay. And then Azure Functions has its own uh, repo here. Uh, this, is, this is like a collection of, uh, of other repos, right? Mm -hmm. Like you could file an issue on any of those uh, um, repositories. By the way, Azure Functions is completely open, so it's open source. I didn't know that. The runtime is open source, the function host, and the, the portal, and all the open source pro uh, projects are actually listed here. So pretty much everything in, in Azure Functions is, is, is open source, so you can request features. You can even uh, make pull requests to add your own uh, thing. That's awesome. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I want to see yeah. what will you do with that Raspberry Pi? 
Right, so just uh, just sending some messages in that's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So what I want to do before before we, we go here is basically to just ask Alexa one last question and see what happens. Okay? Let's see. Alexa, ask Azure Functions, what's the soul of Microsoft? All right, you'll find that out in a few seconds. Just watch the pie. Okay. I'm curious. Developers, 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 developers. So I think I think it's 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 pretty obvious. Yeah, I see what you did there. <laughs> it's developers. Coding cool. is life, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean. Thank you so much, Adi. This was the session for Azure Functions. Thank you, and see you at the next one. Bye bye.